Hey guys, what's up? It's Bella. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're brand new. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and taking time to watch it. I have received some products in PR from the brand Bad Habit Beauty or it's Shop Hush. I don't know. I think they own each other. It's like a dupe brand. So they take like inspiration from higher end brands and they kind of like dupe their product to like same color scheme and the same formula. I'm super excited about receiving this package. It literally is amazing. Um, it's not sponsored or anything, um, obviously, but this is just stuff I've always wanted to try out on my channel. I've had it in my cart for a few months and I just never got around to purchasing it so when they said that they wanted to send me it I was like yeah that'd, that'd be really cool so anyways we're gonna be testing out some shop hush slash bad habit beauty makeup I'm pretty sure it's bad habit beauty we're gonna be testing out these products I am so excited I have two eyeshadow palettes and a highlighter kit so if you're interested in seeing if these products work then please keep watching don't forget to subscribe so you can join the Gory gang we'd love to have you join and let's go ahead and get into this video so I can complete my face and eye makeup so the first one I picked out was the Oasis highlight kit it, it's supposed to be like a dupe of the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter kit. Just a disclaimer, I've also been playing with this stuff for a few days. I've had this package for about a week. So I've been giving these shadows a rundown so I can see if they wear well and how they perform and stuff. So I basically already know. So I'm just going to show you guys like a tutorial and just kind of talk about it because these are more affordable options than the other, you know, normal big brands. Anyways, so here is what the palette looks like. On the inside, you have a cream highlight right up here and then three regular powder highlights. And I'm about to show you my Huda Beauty one. I know it's literally gross, but here is like what it looks like. You can tell they are super duper similar in the color scheme and you can tell that the formula looks pretty much the same I don't know why I wore a white sweater when I knew I was gonna be doing swatches Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the Oasis palette So I'm gonna start with that cream color. It's a really nice like pale champagne yellow gold Sally I won't be using this um today because I already did like setting powder But we're gonna be using the regular powder highlights and then next I'm gonna go in with nude beach Which is their lightest highlight and that is what that one looks like down here This one isn't as pigmented, but if the formula is really nice and it feels really soft, so that's cool the next one is tan lines, which is like more of like a deep bronze color. Ooh, that one swatches really well. And then the last one we have is Vacay, which is more of your pink highlight, which I don't really go for pink highlights. I prefer champagne. And then I'm going to swatch the Huda Beauty one up here so I can kind of show you guys like side by side. Here is the Oasis palette by Bad Habit Beauty. And then here is the Huda Beauty. Which one is this? I think this is the gold edition. Yes, this is the gold sands edition down below. They look so similar and they swatch almost the exact same. The Huda Beauty ones are a little bit more pigmented. But this would be 12 bucks. This is really good. Okay, so I want to go ahead and add highlight because I want to finish this up. So we're first going to go in with Nude Beach. I have a clean Anastasia A23 brush. I just washed this. I'm just going to go in here and just kind of apply this. And then now this side. And then let's get that nose highlight. So here is what the highlight looks like on my skin. I used the lightest shade only. Tan lines, which is that darker bronze, is too dark. And I don't use pink highlights. But if I didn't have already, like, set my face with powder, I would have totally used this too. So I will be able to utilize these two. This one I probably will never touch unless I'm using it as a blush, which I do a lot of times for, like, highlighting pink colors. And then I will be able to use this when I get a little bit darker. But it is almost winter time, and I have lost my tan. This highlight is really nice. It's super fine. It does not... Ever look chunky on the skin I've tried it with many different foundations right now I'm wearing my narcissist um not narcissist my NARS uh, natural long wear radiant foundation and it looks really good with it it looks good with any foundation and it never looks weird on top of powder like once you set your face really pretty and seamless like it looks like a high-end highlighter like if I didn't tell you you probably wouldn't have known and they also have the paradise highlighter set which looks like a little bit lighter than the oasis one and then they oh my gosh Nicole's calling me hey you look good. Have fun. Yeah. Alright, love you. Bye. Anyways, let's get back to the highlighter. This is really good for four highlighters. This is like almost an exact dupe in my opinion because the Huda Beauty one looks the exact same. So I give this a 10 out of 10 and I will totally use this again. I'm so excited. Okay, so the next palette is called the Cult Mystere by Bad Habit Beauty. And this is a dupe of the Pat McGrath. I think it's the subliminal or it's the subversive. I don't know which one. But you guys, this looks the exact same as it. And I actually have the real one right here. I couldn't find it for a second. And you're about to be shook. I mean, honestly, which one is the real Pat McGrath one? Like, we don't know. I'm kidding. This one is the Cult Mystere and this is the Pat McGrath palette. I mean, don't tell me those look the exact same. Same. This is what excites me because I love just being able to find cheaper versions of things, but like also I love like duping things. Like it's just so much fun. But I think these are gorgeous, and you guys know that this is my favorite Pat McGrath palette. I love the bronze seduction, but this one is my favorite, and I just can't get over how similar they look. Like the colors are almost the exact same. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and swatch these because I'm getting way too excited. Oh 
I'm gonna do side by side swatches. We're gonna start with this color up here called Shrine. And it looks like that super duper pigmented, super, super nice. So here is that shrine color right there. This is so pretty. You guys, I'm like over the moon because I've been trying this stuff already and I was like barely able to contain my excitement. And now I can like finally let it out because I found some good cheap eyeshadows. I'm gonna go in with this one and do a little swatchy of that. <sighs> they look the exact same. So here's the black of the Pat McGrath palette. You can tell it's definitely not as pigmented as the Holt Mystere one, but they're still super similar in the colors. So next up, there is a brown. The one in here from Colt Mystere is called Kabuki Dance. And then we're gonna swatch the one from the Pat McGrath palette. The color is a little bit off on this one. This one has a little bit more of a red tone than the Colt Mystere, and this one's normally like a true brown, but I see red almost in both of them. That's crazy. So next, there is a really pretty white pink color. Like it looks white, but it's actually like a pinkish color. So this is the one from Colt Mystere, and this is more of her like glitter topper formula, but look at that. And then now I'm gonna swatch the Pat McGrath one right here. And then those are those two. Next, we have a really pretty pink right here. I swear, these are just so pigmented. And this is also one of her topper formulas, so it's gonna be a little bit more chunky when you like swatch it. And then this one is the Pat McGrath one right here. And this is the one that looks the most similar in both of the palettes. Like, they look the exact same when they're side by side. So going on the second row, we have a straight up just black color from the Bath Habit Beauty one right here. And then I'm gonna swatch the Pat McGrath one right here. Ooh, that Pat McGrath one is a little bit better next we have a really pretty brown like it's like a weird brown color i don't really know what i would call this color it's, just, it's definitely brown this is from the colt mystere palette it's like a brown with like a gold purple shift and then i'm gonna go on my thumb for the pat mcgrath one right here I can't believe how similar those are. I'm sorry, those swatches were really bad, but I can't believe how similar those are. So next up in this palette, we have this really pretty purple down here in the Colt Mystere, and then it is on the top row in the Pat McGrath palette. I'm gonna swatch the Colt Mystere one first. It's called Plum Time. Looks like that. That is a solid swatch right there. That is so pretty. And then I'm gonna go into the Pat McGrath one. Those are so similar. I can't get over this. I can't. So next up, we have this really pretty green right here in the Colt Mystere, and then it is the same in the Pat McGrath. So we're gonna go in with the Colt Mystere first. Y'all, how do those look so similar? The Colt Mystere, Pat McGrath, Colt Mystere, Pat McGrath. And the last color we're gonna swatch is the blue. And this is the whole reason I even bought the Pat McGrath palette right here. I keep, like every time I mention this on my channel, I tell you, I bought it for this color and I also bought it because it was a super cool color scheme, but mainly for this blue color. I just think that's crazy. And I'm gonna create an eye look with it, but the next palette is a dupe of the Natasha Denona Star Palette. It's actually from Bad Habit and it's called the Divine Palette. I don't have the Star Palette because it's way too expensive, but if you have it and you know what it looks like, it is the exact same. <laughs> same color scheme. I just don't know how they did that. So I did a review on the mini star palette and that blue was terrible in it. And this blue I can already tell you is a hundred times better. Swatches better, applies better. It just it's better all around. So I'm only going to swatch a few of my favorite ones from the Divine Eyeshadow Palette. Which obviously that blue I just showed you. This color down here, it's like a really pretty green. Let's swatch it right here. This really pretty brown right there. A really nice transition color. That one was a little chunky. The next color I love is this really pretty like icy white color. And then my last favorite shade is this color Nirvana. These are just, these are crazy pigmented. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna mix both of these palettes and I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade two. So since the Pat McGrath palette does not have a light enough shade for my crease color, I'm gonna go in with the Divine palette for that transition color. I'm also going to carry a little bit down onto my lower lash line. So I don't want to do anything else in the crease right now. I'm going to go in with my lid color and then we're going to darken it up. I really want to go in with this blue. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to use my finger because like, why not? I'm just going to pat this on now. Yeah, I literally, I can't, I cannot. I'm going in with a little second round so we can build it more. And now I'm going in with one more layer. So this would be three total to really get that intense pigment. I would definitely do your eyes first if you're going to use this um, palette like any of the blues or whatever. I'm just going to buff out the edge ever so slightly. So I think for my inner corner, I'm going to use the one from the Divine Eyeshadow Palette, the one that I swatched called Freja. How does that such a pretty inner corner highlight. This is what I've been using as my inner corner highlight this week. Like I will literally just go to this palette for the inner corner highlight. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this eye over here. Please make sure you do your eyes first so you don't get all the fallout that I just got. I want to take a little bit of a brown color. I'm gonna use my MAC 224S. I'm gonna go in with the Colt Mystere palette and use this brown up here. And I'm just gonna blend that out here to kind of mesh the two colors together. 
I think I want to smoke a pretty pink from the Divine eyeshadow palette on my lower lash line. I'm going to use this color right here called Estia. I don't really know how to say these words. Like, I've never heard these words before. Very, very lightly. I don't want it to be too intense. I know that was like such a simple, easy eye look, but I feel like that blue does all the talking and we probably should not add anything else. All right, so you guys saw how the Cult Mysterio one looked on my eyes. Um, this packaging is super nice. It's like almost velvety. Like this actually feels like it would be sold in Sephora. And it has a really nice mirror as well. And then all of your beautiful colors. The mattes in my crease, well, the one that I used and then the inner corner highlight from this palette look really good. So honestly, I've always wanted the star palette, but I'm not even gonna get it now because I feel like this just kind of takes its place because I feel like these are so good. I I still love that highlighter palette though. Um, although that's not my favorite, I would totally go for the eyeshadows. I feel like the highlight palette was nice. It's definitely nothing outstanding. It's kind of just like any other highlighter. But I think the eyeshadows are outstanding because this literally performs just like the Pat McGrath palette. So if you don't want to dish out that 125 bucks, dish out that 24 bucks and you can save so much money. So that is it for this video, you guys. I'll put a link down below to Bad Habit Beauty. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I just think that these are really good eyeshadows. And if you want to save money on them, like I would get these more than I would get like the bigger palettes and I've already had this palette for a really long time so obviously it was super cool to compare the two. Thanks again to Bad Habit Beauty for sending those out to me. I really want to review the new one so if you want me to review that please let me know down below. It's that purple color scheme and it's like my favorite colors. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I helped you find some really good dupes that are affordable and check that link down below so you can shop these items. Like I said it's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just a way for you to get an exact link to the website. Hopefully I will see you guys in my very next video it's a very exciting one and I love you guys so much bye guys